It You have more on Crane. Work. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? And these lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Alright, we gotta be Sometimes slick about this. We have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Hmm. Hmm. Where's this going? <laughs> Is this making any sense? It's about Faith sure and Lily. I this would be Faith mean, and Lily then. Trying to say something about Faith and Lily. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Hmm. Are you? Uh, should I suspect my friends? Are you telling me my friends are involved? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... I know. But... <sighs> Take your time. It's okay. Take your time. I know you're trying. I'm just an idiot and can't put two and two together. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. It's not. You're not. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Uh, Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. Ah, ribbon, isn't it? Hmm. Wait. Dun, dun, dun. Can we just take the ribbon off? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No, these lips are sealed. What? You can't. Just stay back. Okay. Okay. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. I was just asking. Please. Don't. Sorry, I didn't... Good thing I didn't just try to do it. I was asking you. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... Comfort her, please. She needs to know that I'm a friend. And she knows that. It's just... Uh, okay. If Hide... I find out, I came here. Hide under the desk. That's probably snow. Probably. Oh, you better Listen, not be... <sighs> Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Of course. I could be in a lot of... Trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. I won't tell anybody. Thank you. Especially if you're... Ah, jeez. Oh, piss off. <laughs> that Sorry, face. I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Love Please triangle face. Me. One minute. <laughs> I have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. Uh -oh. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Okay. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, All right. You don't have to go. So Beauty and Beast are what we should attend to next, it seems. They're involved. That How? was abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Yep. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Don't worry. Man, she yep. couldn't talk because of the magic. But we managed to understand each other. Oh, Jesus. What is that my face? Job. My way. What did you expect? Do you really want to know? 
Because you have given me reason to doubt you. Surely even you can see that. Trust you have me. To trust me, Snow. And I'm pretty sure she left convinced we're on the right track. Okay then. Good work. Thank you. Thank you for trusting so, me. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Yep. And she can't make many things clear. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Yeah. Hmm. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That Probably. would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Ah. <sighs> Who knows I what the fuck will happen? To attend to. Man, the way the story has gone, who knows what the hell's gonna happen? <laughs> so many twists and turns and random shit keeps happening. Once upon a time. Alright, it's noon. I'm out of here. <laughs> you said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to Let's it. Let's go knock. Tell me, or are you just going to keep that a secret too? Hello? Beauty Beast. Oh. What do you want? Oh, fuck off. Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Alright, then it was Beauty. Listen. I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Oh, calm down, uh, beast. So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? You don't want to talk. Can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? <laughs> You're the one who fucking made me beat the shit out of you, guy. It's your pal, Big B. Yeah. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Have you guys been talking to him, like, in private this entire time? Well, maybe I have time to rummage around your shit, then, while you're talking. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going it's to pretty nice. problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. Sounds like Kenny from Walking Dead. Hey, what's that? What was that, a false, uh, false case right there? Of course you do. A beauty on the beast. Past. Little thing. Yeah. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try a pot to that has a crack in it? Or not? That's just shading. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Excuse me. If you want to talk, can oh. we? Thanks for letting us finish our conversation. You're welcome. You're about to be done Sorry. anyway. It's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I've never heard that in my life. Your place? It looks, uh, expensive. Beast is rich. What do you mean by he used that? to be. Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? Mm. I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. <laughs> My head hurts. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I just want to help you. I'd like to help you, but I 
can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We are. No more stonewall Jackson. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? Oh, Jesus. We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Like somebody like me? Plainly? <laughs> Can I answer that? Or is somebody gonna answer that? Or, you know? Hi there! You've reached Beauty! And Beast! And we're out doing Ew. something fabulous! Ew! Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Hey. Skiing we're not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> uh. Humanly possible. Ew! Beep! That was disgusting. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. Crooked man's gonna get his ah, one way this. or another. <laughs> Shit. He hung up. Well, who the fuck was that? All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Aww. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Who's I didn't Jersey? know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, yeah. That's the Devil! Rick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. Uh, yeah, I yeah, Mary got the axe from has there. A lot of marketable skills. Fucking bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it. You <sighs> have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. What are you delivering? people, Big B. Listen to me very carefully. Did you deliver it to? You never deliver to the crooked man. Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place. But hmm. it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up. Hmm. It's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. 
Especially not where she was. Want my help? Then quit. It's up to me to take care of her. Well, you're done working there. If you want my help, this is over. Yeah, of course. Of, of course. No more dirty shit. I just you, wanted you two to, need to go straight. Her beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. <sighs> I shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. So I keep hearing. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. As a favor to you guys, I will go to the butcher shop. I'll go to the butcher shop. It'll probably be more direct for the pawn, but I want to keep my word. You guys were honest to me, so we're going to the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the lucky pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Beast told me he didn't want to come back to beauty, so... Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Yeah. Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. Are you kidding me? Really appreciate it. I'm not doing this what for you. Say? I'm not can doing this for you. Out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am going to do might just fix it anyway. Yeah. Just Keep us in mind, please. I'm God. sure you'll do the right thing. You guys are so into yourselves. Jesus. Ah. These people. <laughs> All right, the cut above, butcher shop. Oh, sweet release. Oh, no smoking. Well, I'm going to keep smoking anyway. Eh, keep smoking. <laughs> Fuck it. Dirty shit's happening here anyway. All right. Well, uh, let's look at the cold drinks here. Mmm, some nice cola and lean lime or whatever that is. Lemon lime. Lean lime. What's on the special? Soylent green? All right. Sandwiches. Uh, should I take uh, a ticket? Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers or he doesn't have any. Well, uh, by the judgment of uh. this... Has none. All right. Let's see what they got. Ugh. Ugh. Is that all bad? Not very appetizing. Yeah, it all looks like moldy as fuck. Solid. Uh oh. Who'd want to eat this? Beast. Me. Not me, Bigby. What's that box back there? That must be one of the deliveries. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at Anti Greenleafs. Hmm. Great. Hello. Bigby Wolf. Mr. <clears throat> Butcher. Well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? No, they all look like shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> um. Let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak, on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. I think you do. <laughs> <clears throat> Calm down. What you see is what you get. Just meat. Don't find anything else. Oh, I won't, eh? We just, uh, mm -hmm. we do more wholesale and oh. meat packing. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Service. Yeah. I'd like mm -hmm. to help you. Mm -hmm. Really, I would. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. And what if I do find something here? Because if you haven't been straight with me. Really, Sheriff, you won't. We'll see about that. I, Sheriff, I. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, are you kidding me? What? Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. 
Hold on. I, I just gotta go check. I saw that button earlier. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher. Yeah. I just have to go see. Uh, of course you do. Well, um, please go through there. Yep, the button. Shit. Oh, great. Oh, great. The fuck is this shit? <laughs> 